Hi, this is Richard Chamberlain, and I'm one of the attorneys with the Legacy Law Group in Perrysburg, Ohio. Welcome back to the Protecting Your Family's Future podcast. The last three weeks, we've been talking about different reasons why people do trusts. We talked about uh, having privacy. We talked about having lower overall fees. We talked about protecting uh, younger or incapacitated beneficiaries. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, the fourth reason why people do trusts, and that is to avoid ancillary proceedings. So if you're not familiar with that term, uh, it refers to a second probate estate that someone might need to have. Uh, that comes up if, say, for example, a person lives in Ohio and, uh, and they die in Ohio, their probate estate would be in Ohio because they're an Ohio resident. But if they own property in another state, let's say they have a, a cottage in Michigan or they have a condo in Florida, uh, then the Ohio probate has no authority over those other states' uh, real estate laws and can't control what happens with that real estate. So a second probate estate has to be uh, conducted in that other state. So uh, we do the main Ohio probate and we have a ancillary Michigan proceeding or an ancillary Florida proceeding, depending on which state you have. Uh, and if you have multiple properties, then you have multiple ancillary proceedings. So, you know, we've talked a lot about uh, avoiding probate, why that's uh, desirable for a lot of people. Uh, and what we have in this situation is now we don't only have to have one probate. Now we have to have multiple probates. So if you have a trust, instead of having a will-based estate plan, and you have your real estate in however many states you own real estate, you have that real estate in your trust then you don't have to have an ancillary probate proceeding in those other states because you don't have to have a probate proceeding at all. We've talked about how when assets are in a trust, there is no probate needed because the successor trustee of the trust has the legal authority to do what needs to be done with that real estate. They can sell it, they can transfer it, they can do whatever the instructions in the trust are. They don't have to go to court, whether it's the Ohio court or the Michigan court or the Florida court or wherever that property is. They don't have to go to court to get the legal authority to deal with that real estate. That authority is already in the trust. So if you have property in more than one state, you're going to really want to take a look at setting up a trust just to keep things simple to to keep your estate out of probate in all of the states where you own that real estate and making it much more efficient for your loved ones. So I hope that's helpful for you today. Come back next week and we're going to talk about the last reason why people do trusts. Hope you'll join us for that one. If you have any questions about your estate planning and you want to reach out to us, if you're in Ohio or Michigan, we can help you with that. The contact information for us is in the show notes. We'll see you again next week. Thanks.